cast on an even number of stitches and arrange them for working in the round. I'm going to use one long circular needle in the magic loop technique, but you can use any other setup that you normally use when you make seamless projects. The first round is going to be a setup round, we'll make it to establish the pattern. So bring the yarn to the front and purl one stitch. Then keep the yarn at the front and slip one stitch purlwise from the left needle to the right needle. That means we insert the tip of the right needle from right to left into the stitch and slip it from the left needle. The yarn stays at the front of the work all this time. And now make a yarn over. And let's do it again. Purl one stitch, slip one, make a yarn over. Purl one, slip one, make a yarn over. Purl one, slip one, make a yarn over. If your stitches are divided into groups, like I have here two groups of stitches, then make sure you don't lose this last yarn over that's going to happen at the end of each group of stitches if they are divided in, into even number of stitches. So to, uh, to make sure the yarn over stays there, it helps to push the yarn through the work inside the project like this. And this way we kind of secure the yarn over. And it, the yarn stays like that until we rearrange the stitches uh, to work on the uh, next group of stitches. And once you, I'm going to push these ones, and once you are ready to work on the next group of stitches, you simply pull the yarn and continue to work in the pattern. So purl one, slip and make yarn over and keep going until you get to the end of this round. Slip one and make a yarn over and again at the end of the round I'm going to push the yarn inside the project and then rearrange the needles. Now the pattern is established and we are ready to work on the pattern repeat. The pattern repeat has four rounds. In the first round we're going to knit two stitches separately. So we knit one and then we knit another one. And make sure these knit stitches are regular stitches, not a yarn over. So don't grab a yarn over accidentally, okay? And then we slip a yarn over from the left needle to the right needle and we do it pro-wise, like this, with the yarn at the back of the work. So let's do it again. Knit one and then knit another one. And here we have the yarn over. You can clearly see that it is not a regular stitch and that's the yarn over that we're gonna slip. And we do it again and again until we get to the end of this round. The first round of the pattern repeat is done. Now we move on to round two. Slip one stitch purlwise with the yarn in front of the work. So we bring the yarn to the front of the work and then we slip one stitch purlwise. We go from right to left into the stitch and slip it to the right needle. The yarn stays at the front of the work. And then we make a yarn over. Then we purl two stitches together and these two stitches are gonna be one regular stitch and one yarn over and we simply purl them together. Actually when you spread stitches on the needle you would notice that uh, these stitches stay together, the stitch plus a yarn over and they are often called a brioche stitch actually. So we keep the yarn at the front of the work and we slip the stitch make a yarn over, purl two stitches together. Slip a stitch, make a yarn over, purl two stitches together. And we keep going until we get to the end of this round. Round three, knit one stitch, make sure it's a regular stitch, not a yarn over. And right now at the beginning of the round, they kind of stick together. So make sure you get the stitch, not the yarn over. And then slip the yarn over with the yarn at the back of the work like this and knit the next stitch. So knit one, slip the yarn over, knit one. And keep going until the end of the round. In the last round of the pattern repeat, round four, we're gonna purl two stitches together. And again, that's gonna be the regular stitch plus a yarn over. 
like these um, groups of stitches that you can clearly see on your needle when you spread the work on your needle. So we purl two together and then we slip one purlwise with the yarn at the front of the work and make a yarn over. We kind of add a yarn over to every standalone stitch that we see on the needle and we purling two together. So purl two together, slip one, make a yarn over. Purl two together, slip one, make a yarn over. And the yarn stays at the front of the work at all times during this round. So keep going until you get to the end of the round. And the last repeat, purl two together, slip, make a yarn over. And again, this is the last yarn over that I'm gonna uh, keep safe by putting the yarn inside the project just for now until I change the uh, needles and then um, this, this yarn over it will be safe. Uh, as we work on this pattern repeat, so these are the four rows that we're gonna repeat on and on and on. And as we keep doing that, we'll notice a few things. First of all, because we added yarn overs, now we have more stitches on the needles than the initial number of stitches that we cast on. So when you count your stitches, uh, either don't count yarn overs or count the yarn over plus the stitch that kind of the closest to it, those groups of two stitches that we can clearly see, count them as one stitch. Another thing that we notice is that we basically do the same thing all the time. In every odd numbered round, we keep the yarn at the back of the work. It's kind of a knit round. We would knit each regular stitch in this round and we're gonna slip each yarn over with the yarn at the back of the work. In every even numbered round, we keep the yarn at the front of the work. It's kind of like a purl round. And in those rounds, we're gonna purl together the groups of uh, yarn over plus a stitch, and we're gonna add a yarn over to every standalone stitch, slipping that stitch with the yarn in front of the work. So that's how simple it is. And now you can easily make gorgeous hats, cowls, mittens, and sweaters that have this amazing a honeycomb brioche texture that looks absolutely gorgeous all the way around, you can easily make those projects without even following any stitch pattern charts or written instructions. For more details about this stitch pattern, go to tenroseday.com slash honeycomb dash brioche dash round. Happy knitting, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.